We are at Oxum Coffee, and it is one of my favorite places in all of downtown. It is so much more than just a coffee shop, and I wanted to explain why. So today we have the luxury and the pleasure of having Mike, one of the owners. So can you tell me a little about Oxum and how it came to be? Yeah, absolutely. It's great to be with you today, Erica. So uh, Oxum Coffee has been here for 12 years, and really our entire story is grounded in mission. Yes. Uh, so mission is super important to us. Um, our company was actually founded by a couple, Brooke and Renault, who were on a mission trip to Oxum, Ethiopia, yes. which is a little town in northern Ethiopia. And when they visited Oxum, um, the city needed a fresh water project and there were tons of kids running around on the street who really needed to be in an orphanage taken care of. So they came back to Winter Garden, they were inspired by everything that they saw in Oxum, and really that birthed this dream of Oxum Coffee. I and love that. Yeah. I love that. Absolutely. So a lot of the resources from this establishment still to this day go to Oxum in Ethiopia, correct? Yeah, so we, yeah. Um, we funded um, a number of children in the city to really help them and give them a different life. We funded um, the water project into the city and now actually uh, we dedicate resources both locally, nationally, and globally. So really our mission is to help people in hard places and we really want to celebrate people through handcrafted coffee. So to do that, we give resources to both our local community, things like giving away coffee to um, high schools so they can raise funding for their school. Uh, we've given to uh, a homeless ministry in downtown Orlando. And we also work really closely with um, other coffee importers and growers to take money and plow those resources back at a country level. So right now we're actually working with a coffee farmer in Haiti. Uh, he has 100 coffee farmers, 250,000 coffee trees in Haiti. Wow. And because we buy from him and roast coffee for him, um, he takes a portion of all of that coffee and employs it really and redirects it like back into his little town in Haiti, um, both to provide better education for children and really to lift the standard of living for a lot of kids and families in Haiti. So when you're coming to Axum to get that coffee, you're actually sending your resources overseas, domestically, locally, everywhere. So it's so much more than just a cup of coffee. So tell me your favorite thing on the menu here. Yeah, so right now uh, we have a sparkling espresso tonic on the oh, menu. Wow. I haven't With, tried that yet. Yeah, so tonic water and a shot of espresso. It's just beautifully crisp and refreshing, particularly here in Florida, yeah. where it is warm and hot so much of the year. So it's a great one right now. Well, I'm gonna have to go try that. And Mike, thank you so much for being with us today and sharing this rich little story with us about Winter Garden's juicy little past. You're welcome. Thanks. It's great to be with you.